Sailor the Piper Man, Piper the Sailor Man, come to you with an evening smoke and an evening random thoughts. Got a little bit of coffee here. I hope you guys had something to eat. My prayer that everybody I know has a belly, belly full. Why am I saying that? I don't know what's going on in your neck of the woods. But the prices of food, items, beverages have skyrocketed. Especially we get a lot of consumer goods from the United States ships, air cargo. And we know that the prices have gone, you know. I don't know, maybe it's less for you in California when it comes to fruits. Down in Virginia and Tennessee. You know, but over here, we're an island. I mean, we, we eat yuca, yadilla, and the Indian foods, bananas, mangoes. We have no problem with that. But we do have problems with um, other products. Um, we have a problem with, with uh, rice coming in and uh, flour. And... We Puerto Ricans eat a lot of bread. And uh, that's going to be something coming down the line. The government ha has even requested uh, people from Vietnam to come and live here in PR to grow rice here. Cause we that's a main stable here, rice. It might not be your neck of the woods, but Puerto Rican without rice, <laughs> boy. Puerto Rican without rice and pork and chicken. So we're. I was watching that some of the unions in the United States are about to go on strike put pressure and that's going to have a, an effect. What kind of effect? I don't know. I know New York has had a great effect. Many of the transportation sy systems are shutting down. You know? So got to fix this pipe a little bit. I don't know what happened here and this has a bit here where I have to turn and place it in there and twist it and then I take this end and this mushroom and I stick it in there And so, I think we're heading into hard times. The Bible talks in Revelation, there's going to come a time it's going to take a day's wages to buy bread. That's a scary thought. The Russians right now, they're putting pressure on Europe after this Ukraine offensive where the Ukrainians took back land. The Russians decided to punish the European countries by not giving them oil, shutting down the oil supply. And you know winter's coming by. Winter. You know, for them people, they get bad winters over there in Europe, man. I mean, United States too, but Europe is dependent. Um, oil from Russia. 
and we have to grow begin growing our own foods my grandmother told me the crash of 1929 she was very young to make ends meet what they used to do each family would prepare something big and they would gather somebody brought bread somebody brought beer somebody brought chicken whatever it was and we meet on Sunday different families and it was enough for everybody I remember as a kid churches used to do that too you have the church service after the elderly ladies each would bring a plate you know what I haven't eaten in a long time macaroni salad macaronis and noodles macaroni salad baked macaroni with a lot of cheese on top crusted cheese it's been years and, uh, my, my, my wife makes a great design you know? I told my wife you got to cut off the fast food no more fast food in the next couple of months. You think about how much you spend on fast food, how much you can make buying groceries. And I'm just gonna start planting. All I need this morning is two eggs, toast, and a coffee, and I'm fine. There's a lot of ill people that need certain things. And so with this hindrance and transportation and medication coming to the island from the state, this might be a problem for them. And we gotta take care of ourselves. We have to start thinking in terms of alternative medicines. There ain't no ash from what you're gonna do. You gotta go back to herbs. Coffee. You gotta plant your own coffee. People have a fit in the United States they can't get their coffee. On my military career, I drank coffee. Can you imagine a nation with no coffee? How about a nation with no tobacco? What cigarette smoke is it? <laughs> cigarette smoke is good. I'm just saying. I'm not getting paranoid or anything. I'm not an alarmist. But you got to keep track of what's going on. You can't just uh, totally disregard the news. You got to watch when it comes to transportation. When it comes to um, children, what the ch I don't have children. I mean, what are the children going to eat in school? What are they giving them? Good stuff, bad stuff, vitamins, malnutrition. Here's one secret. This is part of the survival training. I learned you can take regular protein, protein powder, little milk or chop a can of orange juice. You can make a cup, mix it up, put two two. It has amino acids, B12, it has everything in it. Protein. That's all you need. And it goes in your body. And with one, I've tried it. One cup, right? 
a good protein protein powder can last you about two months if you're drinking one a day one protein powder with milk or anything with coffee if you want you can do protein powder with coffee that go right into your system you don't need no multivitamin pills you don't need nothing that has it all and amino acids and the, because it's liquid, it enters your system. And we used to do that a lot in the military. Gotta get the amino acids, gotta get them enzymes, minerals, not just vitamins. Get some sun. Today I was out, look how my complexion is. I catch sun. I set out. I'm in trouble with this pipe. I don't like to be struggling with pipes. Pay too much for them, you know? So, I'm not going to allow that particular pipe to frustrate me. So, I'm just going to grab this. Okay, Woody Bulldog, one of my clinches. I blow it out, keep whatever it's out. Because I'm constantly cleaning because of the fan. <laughs> I like a little kid sometimes, right? I gotta have, I gotta keep a little bit of my, my youth in me, little, little bit of my rascal. That won't be me. I don't want to grow serious and grumpy and when nobody wants to see you, nobody wants to talk to you, cause you're better in life. Nothing worse to grow bitter. It is what it is. You read what you sow, you make your bed, you sleep in it. And go. Uh, it's life. Move on. Stop whining. No worse than a man that whines. Oh, but you know, Fred, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> if you're in your 50s, what are you worrying about? You survived all them years. You had to do something smart. You couldn't have been that dumb. You must have favor unless somebody's treating you and you're living on somebody. So if you live life, you can keep living life until the good man calls you. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You know, especially those that have been around before all this technology. If we lose all the electricity, you know, these young kids will have a fit. When Maria came through, and it was the whole island lost, it was a shutdown. People were stopping on the highways next to the cable lines to see if they can get. People doing the oddest things, man. Now everybody should have. Can't put it down. Sometimes I just put it down. You see, I grew up without it. So, if the soul goes out, fine. The government can't find me.
the the government is as good as the technology. Once once the government loses all its technology, it loses control. How are they going to control the people? How are they going to tell the people what to do? What is the government going to do? There's an electronic shutdown. No computers, no nothing is working. I'm sure they thought it was something already, right? Fall back. System. You live life. You get 1800s. Washington had no idea of your existence. None of the people have read. You never met any of the people in the Senate. You, you went out and lived your life. Our grandparents went and lived their life. Without the interruption. You set up your own system. My only worry is tobacco. The shipment of tobacco here. Can... This transportation it can really affect it. And my tobacco is not local. So, that's all I'm worried about. I ain't worried about food. I got ration. I got sea rats. Military rats. I'll go back to crackers and peanuts if I have to. People like here, families. Why are you always thinking like that? You're always thinking something tragic is gonna happen. My son used to always say, You're always talking about survival, Dad. I said, Son, I'm passing on right information. You got a family now. You better know your tribe. What tribe you part of? For example, some of you guys are really like a like, tunnel. The tunnel, or oh, say David told me, oh, I hope broke loose here, man. This is crazy. It's a civil war. It's, it's out of my mind. I got to leave. I said, I said, come on over. I got plenty of land. Tunnel survivalists. You come over and hey, just bring your tobacco. <laughs> bring your luggage and your tobacco tunnel. Say, day, bring that burly, that Joe Cram. <laughs> I'm getting stupid, right? You know, if I have to, I know how to make pipe. What pipe baker? What pipe piper person, right? I smoked a pipe who smoked it for many years, have looked at pipes, have seen what a good pipe looks like, tastes like. He can make a pipe out of out of anything. We just lazy. We don't want to make our own pipe. But we have to be good. I take a chicken bone or, or big like a turkey bone cut cut it get get all the marrow out clean it out file it out put something in smoke it I got music instrument like a flute you can use a flute smoke a pipe you've been hating a lot of tobacco though because that flute get the board like it you know, we gotta have batteries, lights, candles. I'm trying to take a course on how to make candles, man. You can take oil, corn oil, make these small little things on these branches, put it in there, light it up. We stay lit all day. You know things. I remember the old timers telling me a lot of things. Herbs. 
This is good for that. This is good for that. I got them. I don't have to live that way. I got technology, I got fan, I got everything. But the prices of groceries, you know what I'm saying. You don't need to eat gas, you need gas. I don't know what it's like. Nobody's nobody's told me anything what it's like living in the United States. It's been a long time. Ain't nobody calls me. No, I don't get any call from family and from the states. So obviously they're living their life. I'm okay here. I get on, on I guess I get on Facebook a lot so they see my face. They know I'm okay. But um it worries worries me right now what's going on with the uh, union strikes and stuff. The economy is a little fragile right now. COVID did a number, huh? The first time in my whole life I ever seen it was something out of a sci-fi film where they show London, the streets were cooked. Nobody was Tokyo, New York, Los Angeles, Australia, Sydney. Nobody in the street. Everybody was in shutdown. I'm like, holy, this is, is this really happening? And then when people started dropping, you know that could happen again, right? I don't want it to happen. Everybody walking around with masks. You don't even know if somebody's going to come rob you or not. <laughs> this is it in the popular, popular say the men with random thoughts, but have a great smoke.